Hi everyone. In this video, we'll see how to create the system.img, vendor.img using the OTA tools.zip. And also, we will also see how to create the OTA zip incremental or the full update using the OTA tools.zip. Now we are now we have already uh, built the AOSP project and uh, in the out dist directory we have all the distributions available and uh, within that we are just going to use the target files.zip and the OTA tools.zip which are the essential for creating the necessary images and the OTA zip. Let's create a folder named temp and within that folder copy the target files and the OTA tools.zip within that. Once done, extract the contents of them. Meanwhile, create a folder named out. Things got extracted now, so we don't need the already available zips. We will just uh, delete that and uh, rename the target files.zip as target for convenience. Now we will also need a property files.txt. Which would just convey the information about the system size and the file type, vendor file type, verity key, and other additional such information. Let's just open the .txt and include the contents as we discussed right now in here. So this would be including the uh, verity key, uh, the vendor size file type, etc. So we will just save this file. Next thing is we will just navigate to the target directory within the images we will just delete the system IMG because that is what we are just going to recreate. We don't have the vendor IMG so we don't have to bother about that and uh, we also need to create a folder for vendor. And within the vendor folder we we'll just create a folder or structure. For the apps directory and uh, for example purpose let's treat this app as a vendor app so this app so this is considered this as uh, something generated by the um, vendor and they are distributing within or as a vendor.img Now go back to the disk directory and create a shell script. Check for properties whether it has the permissions to be executed. Open the shell script file. And include the needed script. So this is nothing but we are just providing the disk contents of the, the location of the disk as the local path and within the disk we have the OTA tools that is available within the temp directory and the target directory being created within the temp directory that we created right now where we just point it to that and we would be just exporting the OTA directory bin uh, to the, uh, the environment uh, variable and um, next thing is we would be just uh, creating or executing the build underscore image dot py the python script available within the ota uh, tools uh, the directory and for this python script uh, the first input would be the location of the vendor which is nothing but 
this directory and uh, the next would be the property dot uh, the text file that we have created uh, earlier and third would be the location where we need to generate the vendor dot img which is nothing but we would the, this location we would be generating the vendor dot img and fourth would be the optional or the much needed mandated uh, the temporary directory which would be act as a temporary directory during this process of creating the image similarly we will be creating the system uh, image as well but the location of for system.img the location of the system and the system.img uh, the file name would be some different apart from that the additional arguments are the same once everything is been done and uh, we have created the system.img and vendor.img in this uh, images folder the next thing what we would be doing is we would be just zipping this uh, target folder and creating a target.zip so that is what we would be doing in the next step and finally we would be just navigating to the OTA uh, tools and uh, we would be just release tools OTA from target tools we would be just uh, executing this python script and we would be just passing the necessary arguments so one would be the location of the OTA tools directory and next second thing is uh, the, uh, the location of uh, the key and uh, the uh, the target zip that would be the input location and finally the output would be the zip that we have let's save the shell script now go to the dist uh, uh, directory open in uh, the uh, terminal and execute the shell script here uh, the exception we have got some exceptions which is nothing but in the properties file here as a typo in the property dot x I'll be just executing and uh, wait for a while uh, to see how the vendor.img system.img is getting created within the images uh, folder and how we are packaging that and creating a target that we will see. Now it is creating the system.img Now it's done, let's just explore the final artifact been created so this is the final artifact that is been created and we just explore so it has all the needed uh, contents to perform the OT update so this would uh, look similar to the the default one that is been already been created when uh, during uh, the AOSP uh, build as you can see the contents would be like almost similar but internally when we just extract you can find the contents different when we just navigate to the target folder we can find the uh, system.img and vendor.img been uh, created so which uh, we had deleted earlier and this is the target.zip that I talked about which is nothing but the uh, zipped contents of the target hence we have created the vendor.img, system.img and the sample OTA zip. That's all about this uh, video. Thanks.